Okay, I guess over to you then, James. And you you can walk us through what we're watching. Afternoon, everyone. So this is a recording of BB from last time at Coda City, and you see it's produced this heart rate chart. Oh, and it's crashed. Oh, it's gone again. Uh, so at the end of the last session, um, maybe just pause from time to time, uh, Jack, on the video. So team here asked about um, geolocation, and I said, oh, this library called um, H3 from, from Uber. So this is uh, Open Assistant, the open source version of GDP chat. Um, so I asked it um, to give me some code to do the query. And it gave me uh, a JavaScript library called Hexagon to do a chart or something. <laughs> Nonsense. And this is sort of, you could just say, oh, this thing doesn't work and it's wasting my time. But I said, no, no, H, uh, H3 is a open source library from Uber. So then it gave me a React app, which wasn't right either. But on the third attempt, uh, it actually imported the H3 JavaScript library and did a query perfect example. So, so it's just a lesson of where this technology is at. Um, so this is in the cloud. And now we're going to go to a Juniper notebooks. Um, that allows me to again call open assistant in the cloud, but the rest of the Python code um, running on my laptop. And we'll play along. So the bit they'll come to a bit where you have to have an access token if you're using it from your own machine. And so somewhere down here it'll say ha ha and access to your access tokens through a website called Hugging Face. Um, so you, you you key that in. And then this is the, the plot, the, the natural language. And so what um, Open Assistant is doing is basically creating a Python file, like a brand new program from scratch to call pandas <laughs> to, to, to ultimately produce the chart. Uh, we'll, we'll go on, Jack, thanks. So there's... Uh, But the objective of this weekend is to do everything that we've just seen running locally. And so the last part is going to show you Nomic AI running all three gigabits running on my laptop. And just, I've never spoken to it before, so we're just going to go through <laughs> what I asked it. Um, uh, is it playing Jack or? Uh... No, here we go. So this is running on my laptop. So I asked it, uh, which country has a city named Aberdeen? And I got the answer right. <laughs> so I was encouraged. And then I said, can you write Python code? It gave me some Python code. And uh, I'm not really a, an expert in Python, but I cut and paste it into Python. It doesn't work. There's there's brackets and strange places. And if you're into beautiful soup, it's beautiful soup for. Yeah, you have to stall through PIP. Um, but the last question I asked it was, do you have access to Wikipedia? And it said yes, so I asked it for a heart rate. And this ties the story back to the opening slide where BB had my chart. And if you looked on the chart, it said heart underscore rate. But I've mapped that to that Wikipedia page. So that means any data set in the world that's been matched to heart rate, I can now aggregate the data. Thank you. Questions? Anyone want to back up, slow down, have something explained in more detail? So this was everything was you walking through the video. So now the part at the end is running on your laptop. Completely. Three Completely. Gigabits. So it's running, does that mean it has enough data to know where to go? So if you disconnect it, that's correct. Okay. And it's not like storing Wikipedia like sentence by sentence. It's got this neural network model 
that's got some correlation in language. So it's a huge compression. Um, but when I'm BB saying, give me my heart rate on a Thursday, it understands what heart rate now is, so it can map to the, the code, the data store. And Thursday is the day of a week, and given today is uh, Saturday, go back. And there is actually a large language model being trained to do time stuff really, really well, um, which this model. The other downside, and I didn't show it, was that I had my um, processing chart of my eight cores. So this is definitely, definitely a lot, lot slower than the ones in the cloud. But of course, they've got all the GPUs in the world, and I've got one. Okay, so what happens next? Uh, good questions. So we have to, within the local app, I can now transfer my own local files into the local model. So I need Wikipedia for sure, but I've also so got- the, So the next step is to then train, train it. it using things that are running on your laptop. Yes and only your laptop yes. so that it stays private and doesn't accidentally get subsumed by other things on the internet. Okay. This is possible, but I've never done it before. Thank you. Sorry, uh, my question was just that actually, like how would you go about actually training it with your own data? Lots of documentation on GitHub and a very supportive 20,000 member community on Discord. Okay, so technically, I could possibly do it in a weekend. Uh, you could ask Open Assistant to help you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyone else? No. Okay, thank you.